clean sheet, a pair of crucial away goals, and the Reds are halfway there. Welcome inside After 90 here in Colorado. I am Eric Giacometti. And yes, it was as cold as advertised, maybe even colder, with things kicking off at minus 13 degrees here in Commerce City, the coldest ever between two MLS teams as Toronto FC took down the Colorado Rapids 2-0 in the first leg of the CONCACAF Champions League round of 16. Now we know a lot of continuity came over from the team that won the treble back in 2017, but there was one new face in the squad today as Auro joined the team and was slotted right into the right back position. The former Brazil youth international showed well on his TFC debut, getting up and down the right wing, causing problems for the Rapids defense and bagging his first ever assist for TFC. Here's head coach Greg Vanny on the debutante for his side. Yeah, I thought he did a great job. He's, a, he's obviously a very good soccer player. He just told me this is the first time he's been in anything like this coming from Brazil. So uh, I thought he did a great job of managing, um, you know, the conditions, but still playing soccer. And I thought, uh, you know, the one time he really worked to get in behind the back line, he serves a, a great ball in and, and we get something out of it. So, um, But I, th I thought he put in a, a great shift and also just showed the quality that he has as a soccer player and, and uh, intelligent defender, and he did a nice job. It was good to have him out there, good addition to our group. Now, this may well have been the shortest offseason ever for Toronto FC, finishing off their 2017 campaign, as you well know, in the MLS Cup Final in December, and now starting things off here on February 20th on a chilly day in Colorado. But the short offseason was anything but an impediment, rather the opposite. Captain Michael Bradley alluded to the fact that the continuity and short offseason helped to power the Reds to a strong start here in Colorado. Yeah, it, it's huge, you know. All these things add up. Um, we've had, by and large, the same group together now for a few years. We, we understand how we want to play. We obviously have the ability to tweak certain things and, and make certain changes without it, it changing what we're all about. Um, we were the last team to finish last year and the first team to start this year. And, and again, that counts for something because in terms of time off and, and, um, and everything, you're, there's, no time to, there's, no, there's no time to lose fitness, to lose sharpness. Um, and, and like I said, we have a group that enjoys, enjoys being together, enjoys training, enjoys playing, and you know, we're going to continue to go after things. So the Reds are heading back to BMO Field with a 2-0 lead over the Rapids in this round of 16 tie. And they certainly didn't do it alone, as in the corner right over there, a few traveling TFC fans rooted on their Reds, braved the cold, nothing new for these Torontonians, and helped the side come away with a 2-0 win.